Hello, boys and girls. I have another story for you. It's entitled, Oranges from Heaven. You know, people sometimes say, wonders never cease. Well, think about it. How can they, when we have a God that can do everything, if it seems impossible, God can do it. Well, Mrs. Endicott, she was an elderly lady that was on a voyage across the Atlantic to America. Well, when that boat had gotten, that ship had gotten out far out into the ocean, so all you could see was ocean and waves behind you. The ocean became very rough. And I mean, the boat was going this way and this way and this way. And the waves were coming at it, hitting it on the side and hitting it from the front. And the people that were inside were going do, do, do. And do you know what that does to stomachs of some people? Well, Mrs. Endicott was so sick, she had to take to her birth. And she lay there doing nothing but retching and throwing up. She was terribly sick. And she knew she had to eat something. But have you ever been, tried to eat when your stomach was upset? It seemed like everything the stewardess brought her and tried didn't work. It all came right back up. But finally one day, the stewardess brought her a big round orange. And she cut that orange up in little pieces and she said, try this, Mrs. Indicott. And so they put the pillow behind her and she tried to sit up a little bit and she started sucking on those little pieces of oranges. And they found that the oranges would stay down. Well, the stewardess, she was a nice young lady and she went up to the kitchen and she confiscated all the oranges they had for Mrs. Endicott because she knew that she would die if she couldn't eat something. So every day she would be bring her a little bowl of sliced oranges. But the ocean outside didn't get any calmer. It was just one roll after another. But she could still eat the oranges. Well, on one stormy day, the stewardess came down with that little bowl with those little slices of oranges in it and she said I'm sorry but this is the last orange we have anywhere on the ship nobody has any more I don't know what I'm going to do for you Mrs. Endicott said you know God can provide and she sat up and she said but right now, he's provided this, so I better try to eat it. And she did. And she wasn't thinking about the fact, really, that that was the last one. The stewardess, she looked at her, and she thought in her mind, God will provide. You don't know what you're saying. We're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There's nothing but water as far as you can see. There's no orange trees. There's no other ships here. But she thought, you think God can provide. Well, that young lady, she went upstairs on deck and it was a pretty nasty day and she thought 
Well, if Mrs. Endicott is right, maybe God can rain, rain oranges from heaven. But she kind of laughed to herself. Oranges from heaven. Well, downstairs in her berth, Mrs. Endicott was thinking of Bible verses. She was thinking of a verse in Luke. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, Your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. And that's Luke 12, verse 30. Your father knoweth you have need of these things. And Mrs. Endicott thought, oh, God knows I need oranges, since that's the only thing will stay down and not make me sick. Well, she lay back on her bed, and she tried to sleep, but she was so sick. Oh, she was so sick. But she kept thinking about that verse. God knows what you need, basically. Well, she laid back to rest. And while she was resting, all of a sudden she heard strange things. She heard feet running across the deck upstairs. She heard people shouting and calling. And she wondered what it was. What was going on? Had the ship hit something? Were they going to drown? And then she heard strange scraping and bumping noises. All the way up and down the sides of that boat. She had no idea what all those noises were. Then she heard more shouting and crying. And she really didn't know. She couldn't hear what those voices said. But she lay back. And soon she heard footsteps coming down the stairs toward her cabin. And there was a knock on her door, and that wonderful stewardess that had been taking such good care of her came rushing in with a bowl in each hand. Two bowls, and guess what they were full of? Orange slices, oranges. And the lady, the stewardess was so excited. She said, oh, Mrs. Endicott, Look at them. God sent them. It has to be a miracle. Mrs. Endicott, she said, Honey, where did they come from? And she said, Oh, I have to tell you. The captain, he saw a boat way out there on the ocean. And they had a distress signal going up. And they must have seen us because they were coming toward us. And when they got close enough, the skipper of our boat, he went to the edge and he called down to the little captain of that small boat. And he said, what's the trouble? We see your distress signal. What's the trouble? And that captain said, We're almost starving on this ship. We ran out of food. We haven't got anything to eat. Can you help us? And the skip of the boat that Mrs. Endicott was on said, Stay right there. I'll see what I can do. Well, he went down to where their food was stored, and he quickly in his head calculated how much food they would need for the amount of people on their boat till they got to America. 
So he gathered up what he thought they could spare. And then he took one of their lifeboats and he put all that food into that lifeboat and he sent it over the edge of the ship down, down, down to the ocean between his boat and the distressed, starving boat. And the people down there, they started crying out with joy, food, food. They were so excited and they started bringing it on board. Then they couldn't figure out a way to thank these kind people that had given them all this food. And then their captain got an idea and he started sending baskets and baskets up the side of that bigger ship that was on its way to America. And do you know what was in those baskets? It was full of oranges, thousands and thousands of oranges. And the captain of that little ship, he started to holler up. My cargo was oranges. I'm sorry I don't have money or anything else to give you, but hopefully you can use some oranges. Thank you. He and all the people waved goodbye and yelled, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Mrs. Endicott, they're beautiful oranges and there's enough to last you all the way till you get to America. And Mrs. Endicott said, God is so good. And the stewardess, looked at her and thought, she has a huge amount of faith in that God. The God that the Bible says that with him, nothing is impossible. And the God who, like it says in Luke, knew she had a need of these things. Thank you so much for listening, boys and girls, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.